Hey, what's up, guys? It's SBO Channel here today. We're back with a brand new episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And today, we are going to be exploring more, which is basically what we've been doing the entire fucking Let's Play so far. But I'm excited to be doing it. Let's paraglide the fuck out of this place. I want to try to climb this if I don't run out of stamina on the way up. Let's go, Link. You can do it. Don't get fucking tired super goddamn easily. Okay, but like... I don't know. I was gonna talk about something cool. I don't know, like the next Zelda game, probably. I just want to talk about something other than commenting on the game itself. Like I've been doing the last couple episodes, like, oh, look at this, oh, I'm gonna do this and stuff. I wanna actually talk about stuff. But yeah, it's hard to keep my train of thought when I'm playing a game in general. When I'm commentating, that's the only thing bad about this channel and me making YouTube videos. Is that it's hard to, like, talk about something and then, like, maintain talking about it, I guess. I'm trying to think of something to talk about. Um... But, I don't know. Basically, let's just talk about what would be cool for the next Zelda game. The next Zelda game, like, full-on, like, like main series Zelda game, which obviously should be for the Nintendo Switch and not the Wii U, but I think it should be very similar to this game in the way of the open world and, like, the style of gameplay. But I also think it'd be cool if it was like a direct sequel to this game, kind of like how, what they did with Ocarina of Time Breath of the I mean, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, like use the exact same fucking engine and shit. But maybe not for the next game. Don't use the exact same engine as this. Maybe use like a new engine, but make it like a similar game. I think it'd be cool if they did that. I think they should make like Zelda a playable character. I think that'd be cool if they made the next Zelda game, like the next main series Zelda game, a sequel, to, uh, like a direct sequel to this game. That'd be cool. So like it takes place directly after this game in the timeline. I think that'd be cool. But yeah, I recently just got the um, Mega Man X Legacy Collection for the Switch. Um, it took me a while to get it. It's been a long time since it came out. I just never had the chance to get it for the Switch. I have it for the PC. But I've just been meaning to get it for the Switch, and I haven't been able to get it until a couple weeks ago. Or, yeah. It was like two weeks ago I got it. And it's pretty fun for the Switch. I usually been, I've just been playing it on PC for a while. I ended up beating all eight games in order. Like, it's pretty fun. But I tried to go through X Challenge, and I've... I'm not very far in X-Challenge, it's just not very, it's not very interesting to me. Like, I'd rather be playing the actual games, um, that come in with the collections. Mega Man X Legacy Collection 1 plus 2, but I was also kind of pissed, I'm also still pissed that you have to download the second Legacy Collection on the Switch. They could have just added two cartridges. But oh well. I digress. It's, can't do anything about it now. Rocks. Oh yeah, we found a Korok. Sweet, bro. Sweet, bro. Alright. Let's blow this shit up. Give me all this stuff. Yay. But, um, I have not gotten Mega Man 11 yet. I want to get it, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, but I'm losing my train of thought. Like, I, I keep stop talking. I keep stop running my mouth. I, that doesn't make sense. But, like... Kind of bored today. I don't really have much to talk about. This episode was recorded literally 
like a couple days after the last episode. I only recorded one episode last time. But I just, I don't know. This game is just so good. It's like one of those games where it's usually nice to play when it's quiet. Like when you're in a room by yourself. But like, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be watching this Let's Play anymore. Like they haven't really watched it that much so far. But um, I feel like a lot of people aren't really going to watch it because this game is kind of like so last year or whatever. Because it actually came out like almost two years ago from today. It came out in 2017, it's 2019 now. Yeah, it's pretty sucky. Not the game, it's just the sucky that the fact that it came out so long ago. It's a fucking amazing game. But, I don't know. Something about this game, it's just... it's There's a reason it's my favorite game of all time. Better than any Mega Man game I've ever played. This game is just a fucking masterpiece. Like, nothing gets better than this. Unless they make a new Zelda game that's just as good. And I really hope that with the next Zelda game, they don't go back to, like, the hand-holy shit that they've been doing with Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess and all that stuff. I really hope that it's, like, open world and like this, and you get to do whatever you want. I also hope that they make a Link's Awakening 3D version for the 3DS and make it the same engine that they used for Link Between Worlds. But I hope they remake um, Link's Awakening um, on the 3DS. I'm gonna sell some stuff. What should I sell? Let's see. Uh. Hmm. I don't know what gives you a lot of money. Uh, 40 rupees, okay, that's fine. Let's see, um... Hmm, 30 rupees, okay. Ah. 40 rupees, yeah, why not? Ah. I'm just super fucking excited to be selling this shit. Got a couple more rupees in my wallet. Holy frick, I just hit him. Sweet, bro. Can I set this tree on fire? Mm -hmm. Let's set these barrels on fire instead. That's what I think of your money. Oh no, I gotta open this. Not set it on fire. Flint, yay! Got some flint. Baked apple. Oh, I hit him again, bro. What did you get, fool? Set these barrels on fire. Whoa, the wind. Dang. I'm gonna set these barrels on fire until they evaporate. Oh, dude, dude, it's a choo-choo. Is my sword on fire? Oh, no, I'm using... I was like, why am my sword on fire? But I'm using a torch. Set these things on fire. I love setting things on fire in this game. It's fucking amazing. Oh, no, the boxes are gone. Got a ton of baked apples. Let's set this grass on fire! Wee! I, did, I actually didn't think it would do that until right after it happened. Let's switch to a sword. Got a Helian Shroom, or Hylian Shroom, whatever. Killed that motherfucker. 
Oh shit, it's a Octorok or something. I don't know what their names are. Uh, let's avoid him or kill him. I don't know what I want to do. Alright, I think it's actually... Actually, no, I'll wait a little while. I was going to say it's time for the end of the video, but I'll wait a little while. Wait till about 15 minutes or so. Boink. Boink. Come on, dude. You just get hit by your own rock. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, yes, thank you. Thank you for dying. Oh no, the current is too strong. I want his items. Give me his items. Thank you, we got an Octo Balloon. Dr. Octo Balloon. Dr. Octopus. All right. I think, yeah, this is a tower that we can use to teleport here if we activate it. But since I found this tower, I think it's next time for, I think it's time for next time on SBO channel. What you guys think? I will see you guys next time. Peace.